Hello everyone, welcome to Caroline's Craftery. Just a tiny, tiny little thrift store haul. And a couple things from a store that we called Scattered Goods. So let's start with those. Now I went in there, I had to get some other stuff. And I seen these things and I thought they were really cute. Now these are um, some kind of resin. But they got these ladybugs. The big ones are probably higher than, like thicker than stuff I would actually want to use inside a journal. But on a cover, I just thought they were really, really cute. And these, I want to say they were $1.25 or something like that each. So those are really cute. I would have got more of these birds, but they only had the one. And I think they will look really, really good on the front of a journal. And I'm always saying, no, I'm not going to buy any more stuff yeah, until I see it. And then there were some really cute bees. I think those are really cute too. And then there was some epoxy butterflies and I quite like those as well and they're just forever in time brands so we all know that they're not expensive or anything like that but there's those all this I went when I went to the craft sale the other day I had time to kill so I went by the thrift store and they had a clearing out sale they're trying to, you know, like get rid of lots of stuff before Christmas. Like just, and they put so much stuff they said. So they were having a, like a store wide. Everything in the store was 50% to 75% off. I think um, like the books, they had 75% off. And craft stuff, clothing was 50%. Most of these things I paid like a dime to a quarter. I think the bag, the big bags I paid 50 cents for. So it was a really good deal. So there is four of these. And these are Craft Melody and they're just big like crystal type hearts. I'm sure they're just plastic. But those are really cool. There's five in a bag so. 20 of these big, huge hearts. They've got a hole in them. So I'll use them for something. I got a glue gun. I'm hoping that it works. They say that they try all their stuff. Because when I was doing all those journals, it was like the trigger in my glue gun wasn't pushing the glue through. So I thought for the price, It'd be a good time to buy one. So we got that. We got these pinking shears. Now, I don't know. Oh, well, these are Permate brand. Made in Japan. But I'm excited because finally I have a pair of pinking shears that cut fabric. I have bought, I don't know how many sets at the thrift stores. And they never cut fabric. And these ones cut fabric. So I'm excited about that. I got to put them somewhere so I don't use them on paper. Because I know if I use them on paper, they're not going to cut fabric for long. So we got those. So, And they are heavy. They are, they seem to be very well made. And I'm pretty sure that they're old. Who knows about that? We got a little package of beads. Nothing fancy. They're just kind of a tan color. But for the price, I think these I paid a dime. I think all these I paid a dime each for them. So it was a good deal. We got some seam binding. Original price, 19 cents. And it looks like a very old package. So I can use the package as well. I'll put it in my sewing theme stuff and it's a very nice color 
and not a whole ton on there but I figured between the package and what little seam binding it was worth the dime we got some brown um, this is more of a ribbon but that's okay I can definitely use that and then we have some seam tape now this one was open so I really like the color of this this nice golden color and I don't think I have any color like that so and again the package could definitely be used in a sewing journal it doesn't say nothing on here about how old it is but I have a feeling it's older because usually now they don't put them in a box anymore that's for sure um, they get put into just like wrapped so that was a good deal oh, there's something underneath didn't even notice that there's some of that um, binding tape stuff underneath there so that was kind of a bonus and then there's these I have no idea what I'm gonna do with them absolutely no idea but I thought it was pretty cool so let's open these up and see what there is all that I know is their leaves and I'm sure I could tuck a couple underneath um, flowers that I put on there seems to be a wide variety of colors and sizes so let's just see so there's some nice like yellowish they do look older they're a little bit colored at the ends of these ones and we've got silver ones so I better be careful there's some handy dandy little tiny pins in there that's good pin to save but there's some nice little silver leaves well there's more in here than I thought there was looking at these bags I'm gonna have to take them all out of the bags too because the bags are kind of gross and but different ones this one here um, somebody's either marked it or it's stained from the wire underneath so this looks like mostly greens but I think I have enough of these leaves to last me a very long time they seem to be like made in Korea made in so those are kind of all the same let's just slide these back in here I'm going to have to sort these and and I'll throw all these bags out because they're kind of old um, some white ones these would be nice because I should be able to dye those too if I wanted lots of gold ones and a few like fall looking colors and lots of gold ones here as well more fall type ones oh that's pretty blue oh look at that a fun piece of old tape how good is that love that kind of stuff looks like uh three different sizes of gold leaves another piece of old tape there save that and I can glue it on to paper and use it so bag number one and Kim if you're watching this give me some ideas on what I can do with these leaves if anybody would buy something like this it would be Kim and in this bag let's see what we got in here lots of blues oh, and these are silver this one here is kind of white almost metallic looking that's kind of cool but nice silver ones nice blue ones these packages haven't even been opened 
Whoever bought them paid $7 for them. Oh, there's some more silver ones. Those look exactly the same. So there's two bags of those, 100 leaves in each one. And like I say, they haven't even been opened, those ones. So we got all of those. They've got enough leaves for a very long time. And they're like, um, I don't know what they'd be made out of. Kind of like a paper, not, not a paper, but a, almost a cross between fabric and paper. And then we've got this one. They've been bundled up so long, the uh, twist tie is actually rusting. But here we have more and more and more. Here's a bunch of those kind of white, depending on how you... I think they're, supposed, they're a pink color. Some different sizes of them, more... Blues. These look bigger than the other ones. Different shades of pinks. These are like seem darker. And more silvers, more golds. What else do we got in here? Something, whatever that is. Looks like somebody was making a flower and put a piece of ribbon on the top. So these are mostly blues, silvers, and pinks. But I think, you know, like one of them underneath with a flower here or something. Gonna have to play around with that. If you have any ideas what to do with some of these, then let me know. These are kind of all put together already. But they'd be easy to take apart and use. These are a nice cute size, I think. But yes, tons and tons of leaves I have. Um, I think I had a few similar to this and I used them a long time ago. Can't even remember what I used them on. But yeah, if you got any ideas, please leave a message or a comment and let me know what you would use some of these for. And just a short little haul video. It was fun. I just happened to hit the right day at that thrift store. Because I love going to the thrift store. I even love it more when they're having a big sale on. So enjoy these goodies and we'll see you soon. Bye.